Greetings, viewers. Thanks for joining me in the third gen again. Got my motor running and I head out on the highway. I am off to the Wheeling Park to go have some fun today. Put the truck through some paces and see how everything holds up. Still haven't got my gears. Still haven't got, or I got the locker, but I don't have that in. Uh, you can see with the 35s, it says I'm going 70, but I'm clearly going 76. Uh, so I like the GPS to monitor, plus, yeah, I need to know where I'm going. So it goes really great down the interstate. It does need an alignment still. Pulls left just a little bit. I'm going to adjust that when I get home. Uh, cruise on, averaging 15 mile per gallon at the moment. So uh, no shimmies, shakes, vibrations, weirdness of any kind going down the road just as if it were stock. So I hope to get some video or some pictures or something of it in action today to share with you. I'm going to focus on my driving here and when I get to the park I'll be back. Well on our way to some rocks. Uh, did a lot of dirt, uh, road, trail stuff, a lot of opportunity to flex up and such. That's great. That's kind of what I really wanted to test was how twisted up it could get without causing problems. I do have a tiny bit of rub on the back tires at full stuff and a tiny bit of rub on the front tires at full lock but they are not rubbing on the tread just up against the frame. So now we are headed for some rocks and hopefully, <laughs> I know this guy knows where he's going because I don't, but I will tune back in when we get to some rocks. So far, super pleased. The 410s are doing really well. I've been in high range most of the time. Uh, when it did go down to low range for a few climbs, a uh, couple twisty spots, it was really pretty good. Uh, so far, so good. I mean, the 488s are going to be way better. But yeah, I'm totally not disappointed with the performance today. But we'll see when we get to some rocks how it does. Yeah, I'm excited. Get some poser shots. First time out been flexing it up as crazy as it'll flex all day uh, for about three st straight hours been denied two or three times on a couple of obstacles or three or four obstacles uh, but I know that locker will come in handy and make a big difference it's doing amazingly well with the 410s I can't wait to get the 488s in uh, got a few videos one of my buddies took I hope I can get them on here a couple of him gonna be on here so Hope you're enjoying this day out wheeling. I'm having a blast. I'm going to go hit some more rocks. Well, we've been on the rocks pretty hard. I hope those videos took so I could show you those. The truck's been performing great. Uh, even with the 410s in the open front, I've been having a blast wheeling all day. Getting ready to go down this and then come back up it. I've developed one creek in the front that's my tire rubbing in the back that you're listening to uh, one creak in the driver's floorboard nothing has come loose or come apart i think maybe a rock or something has gotten up in there on between the mount and the floorboard i don't know but nothing has uh broke or come apart I've been using the armor quite a bit. I'm going to wash her up before I head down the road to go back home. And I will uh, go over some things at that time. Pretty freaking happy with the way it's been going. Uh, once we got on the rocks here, been really having a good time. Like I said, I hope those videos come through okay. And yeah, so gonna do some more wheeling. I've been putting her through the paces for about five hours now over all kinds of terrain. She's made some climbs I didn't think she would. Also been denied on a few things, but super excited to get my locker and gears 
but this initial shakedown run has been pretty freaking good. Very impressed, very pleased, really happy so far with what's going on. It's only going to get better from here. So I'm going to go ahead uh, and get on down this and pay attention to what I'm doing instead of videoing. A little sliding around. I wanted to say I've been on mud, sand, rocks, dirt roads. Loving these tires. I aired them down to about 12 pounds. And I've been super impressed. So i got to get out of everybody's way here real quick. Climb up here and then turn around. We'll go back up. Okay, so lots of rocks again. Uh, found some really nice steep ascent and descent uh, on a curve. It was pretty awesome. Uh, these guys are showing me some good places in this park. I haven't been here in a long time. But uh, I don't know if I'll be able to hang on to show these rocks, but I have been definitely kind of abusing this truck more than I normally would just for test purposes. Hang on, let me get around this corner here. Oh, you're going to get some good dash shots. I'm going to have to pay attention so I don't break any glass or anything here, I think. But uh, lots of flexing. I've run my bumpers into stuff pretty hard in a couple of occasions. One by accident, one on purpose. This is a pretty cool trail here. That is nice and steep. You can hear all my <laughs> all the stuff in my drawers moving around. I go up a hill, it all moves to the back. Go down a hill, it all moves to the front. Of course, you can't tell how steep any of this is, but there are some really cool trails with lots of rocks, lots of good climbs. You can say I have bounced this through some holes. I have done some whoops harder than I ever would before. This is all just to stress test the frame because if it can take one day of hard abuse, I ought to be able to take more days of regular wheeling, right? So, whoa, we'll see. Hold on, I'm stuck here real quick because I'm not paying attention. So I'm gonna get off of here for the minute and I'll uh, be back with more. We found some more of the favorite, my favorite stuff, just rocky climbs and uh, trails full of rocks. This has been super fun today. The truck has been amazingly well. I'm still learning how to wheel an automatic vehicle. So I've only ever done that once before with my black third gen. And then I went back to stick and I've about forgot how to do it. So, but anyway, lots of fun. Lots of neat trail here. Rocks in a variety of different directions with hills and such. Uh, Badlands off-road park in Attica, Indiana is where I am. It's a pretty fun park, really. Uh, they've changed a lot of stuff around and they've added a lot more rocky stuff. And even though they're poured concrete, they've got some really neat man-made climbs. Uh, like I say, and some steep, real steep climbs and descents, but they're pretty cool. Really enjoying this kind of behavior. The 488 gears are really going to make a difference when I get them. But I'm just having a blast today. The vehicle's been doing great. Uh, that creek in the floor didn't get here until, I don't know, I'd been here for probably two and a half, three hours before it started. And I've inspected everything and seen nothing broken. Uh, no welds cracked. Like I said, I think maybe a rock or something got up in there. I don't know. I'll investigate it. But nothing else is giving any issue. Uh, so yeah, I'm not real concerned. I will post up those videos on here. Or I have. Maybe you've already watched them at this point. I don't know. I guess I have to edit all this together when I get home. But just having a great time. The truck's doing great. Get out and wheel and go have some fun. I'm not going to finish this up till after I get it washed and looked at in the garage. But definitely you need to get out, wheel your truck, have a good time. Minimal dollars invested here. But yeah, so back to wheeling. 
more video coming up. Okay, successful day at Badlands Off-Road Park on my way to the car wash now. If you haven't been, Attica, Indiana, Badlands Off-Road Park, they have a really nice place. Uh, it's not too much to get in. The park is really nicer than it used to be. They have a shop here. They have parts here. Uh, you can do rentals here. They got all kinds of apparel, etc., so on. They're, I'm pimping the park for them. Badlands, great time. Got me a sticker. Okay, we're on the way back home now. Day of wheeling hard. Got some videos. I think I got too many clips to put together in one show. So I'm not sure what you're going to get. Could be a hodgepodge. Might not make sense. Could be two videos. I ain't sure. But I just want to show you again. Get out. Wheel your stuff. Don't be afraid to break it. I took all my tools and parts and I didn't break anything. Wheeled pretty hard for an open diff IFS truck on 35s and stock front end. Cruising right back home again. 72 mile an hour on the interstate still need to set that toe when I get home so it'll track straight uh, But yeah, I checked it all out after I washed it everything looked good I'll go over in the garage uh, when I get home and I'll uh, I'll go over everything and see if anything got weird But super excited at how it's going so far. Just want to show you you can go out and wheel your truck and have fun and she's driving just fine down the road, 73 mile an hour, no worries. I'll see you in the garage when I get back. Well, I made it back home just fine, no problems. Back in the garage now, getting ready to set that alignment. Uh, just got to set the toe. I can do that with a tape measure. I might show you how to do that in a separate video. Kind of hard to see because I had a crappy light in my hand right here. But a uh, tire rubbing right there right down there just a little bit i'm gonna either take a hammer to that or just cut it off probably just cut it off It'd be easier same place on the other side wasn't terrible these guys trying to get along but you can see where it was rubbing there as well so a little bit of trimming there looks like i got it there too uh, they do pretty good as far as in the wheel well, barely rub, but they will hit the top because it will flex all the way. Took a real good strike on this back corner over here. Uh, didn't hurt anything. I twisted this thing up, flexed it, hung tire multiple times. We wheeled for about five hours out there. I've gone over everything. Uh, I need to trim a piece of plastic off there. And the plastic wheel well off the inside to front because the tire caught them and tore them on both sides. Took a nice strike on the corner there. Nice hit in the front here. Couple different places. That hook, skid plate. I mean, I beat on it hard. I took it through the whoops while you see the rest of the video. Um, I got underneath, inspected. Everything looks fine. The armor underneath took some hits, which is nice. Not much on this side. Couple of good scratches. Other side took it real good. Makes me happy to see it hold up. My uh, rear diff guard, look at that. That sucker took a hit or two, so good on that being there. What else did I have? Something. Oh, over here on this side took a lot of rock abuse there all down this side underneath both of my little slidey things took some good hits my lower control arms did fine the only real issue i have and i already did the pan hard correction kit my gas tank and my drive shaft did not get along on this journey. There's one deep gouge in there that broke the grease zerk off of the drive shaft in there. Uh, yeah, I thought that was, well, I can't believe that isn't leaking. So I don't know whether to just get under there with a hammer and clearance it some more. Uh, if it's clearanced itself enough already because I really had it twisted up. Didn't mash anything underneath. I mean, lots of scrapes and scratches, but uh, 
transmission pan didn't suffer anything. My radiator uh, skid took a few hits. Sliders took a few hits. Super impressed with the way it all went. My buddy that took all the videos yesterday, sadly, lost his device on the way home or just after he got home and he left it on his buddy's truck, I guess, and they drove off. Hopefully he finds that because there was some really killer good video. I'm going to try and source some videos from the other guy that was there. See if I can show you some of the stuff I did. I'm super disappointed. I'm sorry. I'm super sad for him for having lost his phone. I can't imagine losing my device, that's for sure. But I am disappointed that the videos got lost too. But primarily, I hope he finds all of his information back. That would suck so hard to lose your device. But anyway, when those videos, if they ever come back, uh, I will be sure and post them all. I got a few videos of him that I took. I'm going to post on a separate thing just for some wheeling video action. I'm not sure how I'm going to tie all this together uh, from the little snippets I did at the park. But the truck did fantastic. I can say I beat on it hard, harder than I normally would in some situations, just to see what happened. I had lots of uh, spin in the front. I had lots of climbing. I did pretty much wheeling hard like I would anything else, and it did great. I couldn't be happier. I ran the tires like at 12 pounds, ran them at 26 on the road. I said 24, it's 26, but I digress information that isn't necessary but the truck did great all my armor took some hits all my skids took some hits and everything held up well the creek in the floorboard be damned if i can see anything wrong nothing's broken nothing looks different nothing has any weird rub points on it i'm just going to say it settled itself in there and i have a little creaky coming from this corner right here and if i put my foot Right up against the side there, I can feel it, but to be honest, it's a little rusty under there on that floorboard anyway, so who knows what that could be. Well, rambled on long enough about this, I think. Um, Going to do some trimming. Might do a little video on how to set your toe, which way to go. If uh, you know how to do that or you want to do that at home, it's pretty simple. Just loosen up your tie rods, adjust them in or out based on... Uh, whether your tires are in or out measure your tread across with a tape measure i'll show you that i appreciate you tuning in today thanks for going wheeling with me hope those videos show up like and subscribe if you would please i'd appreciate it check links all that good stuff most of all have a great day